for Adonais. He is dead. For he is gone where all things wise and fair descend. Oh, dream not that the amorous deep will yet restore him to the vital air. Death feeds on his mute voice and laughs at our despair. Thy extreme hope, the loveliest and the last, the bloom whose petals nipped before they blew, died on the promise of the fruit, is waste. The broken lily lies, the storm is overpassed. Haste, while the vault of blue Italian day is yet his fitting charnel roof. While still he lies, as if in dewy sleep he lay, awake him not. Surely he takes his fill of deep and liquid rest, forgetful of all ill. He will awake no more, oh, never more. Within the twilight chamber spreads apace the shadow of white death, and at the door invisible corruption waits to trace his extreme way to her dim dwelling place. The eternal hunger sits, but pity and awe soothe her pale rage, nor dares she to deface so fair a prey Till darkness and the law of change Shall o'er his sleep the mortal curtain draw And others came Desires and adorations Winged persuasions and veiled destinies Splendors and glooms and glimmering incarnations Of hopes and fears and twilight fantasies and sorrow with her family of sighs and pleasure blind with tears led by the gleam of her own dying smile instead of eyes came in slow pomp from the world's bitter wind seek shelter in the shadow of the tomb. What Adonais is, why fear we to become? The one remains, the many change and pass. Heaven's light forever shines, earth's shadows fly. Life, like a dome of many colored glass, stains the white radiance of eternity until death tramples it to fragments. Die if thou wouldst be with that which thou dost seek. Follow where all is fled, Rome's azure sky, flowers, ruins, statues, music, words are weak. The glory they transfuse with fitting truth to speak. Why linger? Why turn back? Why shrink, my heart? Thy hopes are gone before. From all things here they have departed. Thou shouldst now depart. That light whose smile kindles the universe, that beauty in which all things work and move, that benediction which the eclipsing curse of birth can quench not, that sustaining love which through the web of being blindly wove by man and beast and earth and air and sea burns bright or dim as each are mirrors of the fire for which all thirst now beams on me 